Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. Recently on this channel, I did a video on tipping. A DoorDash driver had lost his crap after getting a zero dollar tip, and I tried to discuss what I think of tipping, both as a customer, as an employer. And today we're going to be talking about this post that I saw that is sent to me via email that is just absolutely out of this world, and uh, give you some thoughts. This comes from Maxine's. If you cannot afford to tip my waitstaff, do not. I repeat, do not come here and dine with us. I know damn well it is not because of the service that they provide. They are stellar. Read the reviews. They are not working here as volunteers. They need to pay their bills, keep a roof over their head, feed their fur babies, gas their cars, whatever it may be. Irrelevant. Just like you show up for work and get paid, so should they. Unfortunately, they rely on the generosity of you bums to make their money. Again, if you are too cheap to tip your server here or anywhere else, don't go out to eat. In the words of Fergie, so if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. Where do we even fucking begin? They are not working here as volunteers. Apparently they are because you don't pay them, you piece of shit. If you're a business owner, oh my god, maybe I'm salty. Tell me if I'm being salty. I work in an industry... I'm so, like, I work in an industry where I'm actually expected to pay people. I know that that's crazy, but I'm expected to pay my employees, not you. And to be clear, I understand that at every single business in the United States, the customers pay the employees. The business owner is simply the middleman facilitating that transaction and creating an environment and providing the tools and the education and the workspace and everything that allows this to occur. But at the end of the day, when I post a price, this will repair will cost $200. You give me $200. I do the repair. Your responsibility as a customer is over. Why do you have to pay me more money than the price that I told you something is so that my employees can get paid? If I'm billing you $200 for a repair, is it not implied that my employees are being paid out of that $200 that you gave me? And if I can't pay them out of the $200 that you gave me, why can't I just charge you $210, $220, $300 for that repair so that there's actually money left over to pay the employee? When a customer comes to a business... And the business says, we would like $20 for this. And the customer gives $20. And the business gives the customer what they pay $20 for. That is the end of the transaction. The fact that we live in a world where if a business says, I want $20 for what I'm offering, and you give them $20, that you, the customer, or the asshole, is insane. But the lack of self-awareness in this post just kills me. They need to pay their bills. They are not working here as volunteers. Just like you show up for work and get paid, so should they. I agree they should get paid for showing up for work, so why the fuck don't you pay them? I, I can't do that. I can't tell my employees, you guys are getting two bucks an hour. Work it out with the customers. That, like, that would result in a revolt. Everybody here would fucking quit. The customers would be pissed off that what they were paying for was not covering their repair. But for some reason, for some crazy, insane reason, in society, we accept this. You have a lot of people that will attack the people who criticize this concept and say, well, if you were a good employee, you get a tip. She's admitting that they're good employees. Yes, there are employees that will do horrible service, and these employees will not be tipped. At the same time, the owner of this establishment is saying in this post that their reviews are great and the employees are great. So if you believe your employees are valuable and you admit that they provide you value, then why don't you give them value in exchange? And to be clear, I have nothing wrong with the idea of tipping if it is done as a courtesy. So in a video I'm about to put out, there's a customer who dealt with a technician who told him you're probably gonna have to wait two weeks for this to be fixed and it's gonna be a royal pain in the ass. And then he decided to not charge the customer. He noticed he didn't have to replace the part. So instead of sending the device back to Samsung, he fixed it in a few minutes with a soldering iron. He received a tip as a result of that. I am all for tips when that is the way they work. There is no problem with having a tip jar. And when you go above and beyond and offer extraordinary service, the customer says, here's 20 bucks, here's 10 bucks, here's $100. Thank you for saving me time, money, hassle, and aggravation. Thank you for going above and beyond to help me. But for showing up to work, I agree you're not volunteering. You should be paid by your employer. Your employer should be figuring out how to come up with an economic business model that works, that is economically viable. And once they come up with that model, they stick to that model. You don't come up with a model that is not viable and then demand that your customers pay afterwards or guilt them for not giving you more money than what you fucking asked for because you suck ass as a business owner. This, this really pisses me off. I have had businesses that failed. I have had businesses that succeeded. I have been an employee. I have been a business owner. I've done everything in between. There is nothing that pisses me off more than the entitled sacks of shit that believe that customers need to go out of their way to subsidize unsustainable business models from the owners. If you believe your employees should get paid, you should pay your fucking employees. It is nobody else's responsibility or accountability to make your economic model work. You come up with an economic model that works. You come up with an economic model that makes sense for your employees to be compensated 
budget, we enter that economic model and do what we are told, which is pay the amount of money it says on the sign for the service. If you're not happy with that, charge more money for the service and figure out how to pay your own fucking employees yourself and get the fuck out of my feed. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.